Good morning, guys. It is um today. Today's Friday. Today is Friday, and my brother went to the office to go work. Uh, he left me the keys so I can like wander around. I'm gonna go to the lake and take some photos there. It's finally. I mean, this finally sun out. Like yesterday, the sun wanted to come out, but it didn't come out. But today, Friday, it's pretty, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Look. So like that, you see, that's the lake over there. I'm gonna go over there. I actually know how to get there. You know me, I always know how to get to places. And I'm gonna take my camera, camera, I take my Instagram photos with right here, and my tripod that y'all seen it before when I did that Airbnb shoot. And I'm gonna take a backpack. So I can put the camera inside. Taking my brother's Astro's backpack and I'll put the camera in here. Um, I want to use this little tripod here, but my Canon's too heavy, so I think it's gonna fall. I usually use this one for um, my phone when I take selfies with my phone. And I got this at, I think I got it on eBay because I Googled it on YouTube to see how it looks. And it's pretty nice. This is the one I use, guys, to record my behind the scenes with my photo shoots. So I use that with this little camera, my Sony um, vlog camera. That's the one I use to record my behind the scenes. I used to use my Canon, but it was too much to carry and the tripod too to carry for my photo shoots. So I was like, no, I need to get a smaller camera and a smaller mm -hmm. little tripod that's not too much to handle with when you're. Um, recording this behind the scenes so I'm dressed I'm wearing this Sara um, sweater sweatshirt I don't know what to call it and these pants and I'm wearing my boots again with sauce because supposedly it's not too cold outside but um, I know it's gonna be cold sadly tomorrow's my last day here in Cheap Town Sunday I leave in the morning and I arrive to Houston at 1ish I tried to change the flight time because Sunday is going to be like in the 60s here so I wanted to enjoy but I'm planning on coming back here in the summer like deep summer maybe July because I've never been in Chicago when it's hot I've been in Chicago when it's Easter and it's not too hot it's like mid 70s 65 that kind of weather but I want to see Chicago in the hot so I can go to the lake and enjoy it more because I like winter a lot but sometimes you want to wear like more comfy clothes when you walk around and then when it's so cold in Chicago you literally have to put like three layers of clothes like I only brought this jacket I did not want to bring my other jacket the gray one with the hoodie and all that because I was like I don't want to carry too much and I just brought this luggage right here and that luggage right there where I put all my shampoos, my hair stuff, makeup, and all that because I didn't want the airline to overcharge me for like a limit for the weight. I mean, Southwest is pretty good with luggages and all that. You can, as long as it doesn't pass the a weight limit, it's going to be for free. Two bags for free. Hey, that's what's up. Oh, by the way, guys, that building I showed you guys in the beginning. Oh, my ring. By the way guys, that building I was showing you guys um, the beginning of this trip I think I, I don't know if I told you guys or I did not nope. Guys, if you come to Chicago and you like to explore these abandoned buildings That building over there Let me open here I don't know if you can see, I can't see through my camera right now um, Where it is, that building That building this building right here it is actually abandoned my brother told me it is abandoned I mean there's no electricity around it maybe like the light streets electricity street lights I'm sorry but he did tell me it's abandoned and he also told me it's haunted I don't know why it's haunted um, Maybe because he told me it used to be a hospital. It used to be a hospital 
and yeah so he said it might be haunted i tried to look for it on youtube but there's too many abandoned places here in chicago something that i think houston doesn't have houston does i will let me know if houston has a lot of abandoned places i've been to it two locations two or three locations that are abandoned but i don't know if they're haunted i doubt it but if you know any haunted places in houston i would like to go i know the only one i know it's um bear creek park i made it to the lake <laughs> this is the lake guys literally does not look like it's a lake. Yeah, they're pretty big. 